Sea of Thieves, an open world pirate game where you can play with friends, explore the vast map, find treasure, you know, do just about everything, you know, fight all the people, really everything. But the reason why you're here is, is this game really worth it in 2021? Short answer, no. Now, I mean, it is a good game. I'll admit that, I've been playing it for a while. It's very, very good graphics for like a cartoony kind of look. It's very good, I, I really like it. But for the price, nah. And we're gonna get into that in this video. So you're probably curious, why would I say this game's a good game and visually good, but don't recommend it? Well, to get into that, I have to first admit, this game is a stunning looking game. It's pretty realistic looking for a cartoon, if that makes sense. But the reason why I don't recommend it, especially for 2021, is the price. And that's our first reason. As of this video, the game's going for about $40 if you buy it on Microsoft. If you have the um, Xbox Pass, you'll be able to get it for free. But honestly, I wouldn't. this game to me is not worth $40. I did spend $40 because I thought it was going to be a great game to play because it is crossplay. But honestly, I would rate this game to be more worth about $10 to $15. 15 probably max. Uh, as you can see in the trailer, you see you know, gunship battles, fighting people, exploring stuff, and that is true, but you rarely see that. Game trailers depict the game as active and lively, but that's simply not true. As this article states, Sea of Thieves servers are able to host around six ships, roughly one for each outpost on the map. However, oftentimes these servers are capped at five ships to prevent strain and lag. With a map this large, Sea of Thieves, it is easy to play adventure mode for hours without seeing other ships or any players. And as a person who's played this game for a little over half a month, this is honestly really true. I mean, that's kind of one of the boring parts. As, you know, the trailer says this game's so active, but I would be playing and for hours would not see anybody. And that's one of the biggest reasons why this game is not really worth it. I mean, think, why would you want to work and grind to get better weapons and cooler ship skins if you can't even show them off? So. And actually, talking about grinding, that's another point why the game's bad. In the game, you can do objectives, looting, just about anything to make money. And towards this, you can upgrade your ship, you can get some skins that look pretty cool, you can get some weapon skins, maybe even customize your character. But one thing we have to take note is, is any of that really worth it? As the article also states that, really, the only thing you can do to upgrade is just for cosmetics. So, if you're like me who likes upgrading, you know, grinding for stuff, if you like playing Warzone or War Thunder or any type of those games where you can grind to upgrade, you know, spec-wise, make more damage, more etc. This game doesn't have that. I mean, you can't upgrade your ship to make it faster or have more health. You can't even upgrade your own weapons to make it more damaging. And that's kind of really unfortunate. So exactly, what is the point of really even upgrading besides for just running into other players and having cool skins? But then again, you don't even run into people, so what's the point of upgrading? I mean, I guess if it's own for your own personal self, then that's just about it. And lastly, the player base. As of 2021 in January, 66,000 people were playing this game. In in little than a couple months, this game has dropped down to 22,000, and it's truly showing. I mean, you don't really see any people in games, and you know, I feel like most people are having the same issues as I brought up, and that's why not many people are continuing to play it. Now, unless you're a person who likes playing by themselves, you know, because sometimes it's kind of cool to play by themselves, and there are options where you can do it, then, then again, you get to really ask, is the price right? $40? Nah, not so much for me. 